What up? It's the dude, man. It's Wednesday. I'm gonna try not to say man a million times in this video. Uh, first of all, I hope you're having a good day. Um, I'll tell you what, I went for a walk yesterday morning and it was like nice and cool outside. And I live in Florida, Northeast Florida. And it was so nice, I walk like an extra probably 45 minutes. Now, I'm a little sore from that and feeling it today but I'm gonna go take probably a shorter walk today but you could definitely tell changes in the air uh, and that's a good thing I mean it I can't say it's been the worst summer of my life um, can't say it's been well can't say it's been the best but it's definitely not been the worst so I mean I've gotten out a lot more this summer and um, started getting more active and trying to be more productive with myself and what I do for my own benefit, of course, and for the benefit of everybody around me, because if I'm doing good, then the people in my life are gonna be doing good. Just from that that energy that you put out, you know? So, today, today I was thinking that, uh, and the more I think, the more I have to write these notes down, because I'm telling you, some of this stuff, I just, I wanna make sure that I get out. I mean, a lot of, some of it's for me, um, some of it's for somebody out there, man. See, man, who wants to keep account? That's one or like probably up to 15 by now. Um, let's try to be happy today, man. And a smile, man. Let's, uh, even if, uh, you're the kind of person like like me like I don't like to really it's not that I don't like to smile I just don't want to waste my smile on the wrong situations you know it's like one thing I can't stand is like I'm gonna try not to get long-winded here I'm, I'm, I'm the wheels are turning one thing I can't stand and I don't know why I'm on dating apps because I don't date I'm single and I pretty much stay at home, but I just like to swipe it. He swipe left and to the right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one thing I can't stand is when, and you can always spot, you know, I'm not even going to use the term negative person today or hater. Let's just, let me, let me rephrase it to this. You can always spot someone that's hurting on the inside by what they say and what they put into writing sometimes. And we don't always notice that. And the more I think about it, I notice it, and sometimes it pisses me the fuck off to the point that I don't address it properly, you know, like, are you the kind of person, like, you just got to fidget? Yeah, that's just me. If you know me, you know me. Uh, I'll try to put the pen down. Um, some of these people out here that, that are, like, so... And I've noticed this a lot on dating sites. And look, when I say this, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be critical. I am not perfect. I mean, look at this. I hope they broke the mold when they made this, cause you know. What is that, uh, what is that they say? Uh, I got the brains and you got the looks. I don't got the looks, I know that much. But I got that, a little bit of that charm sometimes but that's not my point I'm just gonna say it man and I'm just gonna say it like this and if it's hurt somebody feel somebody's feelings it's not my intention and you know if, if somebody wants to correct my verbiage that's fine but it's this is not meant in a hateful manner let's say there I, I've noticed this a lot man and I see inner beauty man I don't care if you weigh if I'm if I if I'm hanging out with somebody or dating somebody or whatever what whatever we're doing man i don't judge i don't judge by looks and all that man i judge by what's on what's in your heart where the fucking is the heart even man it's right here i judge by what's in your heart and what's in your head and your and in your brain and and lately and lately it's especially more lately that i've started to wake up to a lot of things i judge you by your energy your energy i mean i can these days I can look at somebody and just you either get a good vibe or you get a fucking just a if you remember the days of black and white television like my old ass you know something called static white noise on television 
when all the stations go off air and you, pff, you turn it you turn it to the they made movies about this shit I think some horror movies actually but you just hear static like have you ever had a nerve conduction test I've had a few done on my feet and um they use sound and like static I'm not a fucking doctor, so don't don't quote me wrong, doctors and lawyers and shit out there. I'm just saying, man, that fucking test where it uses the static, it does some shit, right? Sometimes people put off that static. They don't put off a good vibe. They don't put off a bad vibe. They just put off some kind of staticky vibe, like almost like you want to give them a hug, man. And. Not because you feel sorry for them, just because you can tell they need a fucking hug, you know? You, does that make sense? Kind of. Who shops at Aldi? The dude. Aldi Nation, Timu Nation. This one's for you, man. I'm doing that tea break from that tolerance break from the flower. Um have been still hitting the herb. I'm not trying to contradict myself. I didn't say I gave up everything. I'm just trying to like categorize in my mind things I need to like sometimes just, you know, step away from occasionally. And right now it's the uh, marijuana, the flower, not THC. Anyway, mainly because I need to start dry vaping that shit because that motherfucking bong is my favorite way to do it, bro. And it's just not, <laughs> Let's just say I need to I need to find a more I'm starting to, I'm getting sidetracked. Alright, so some people put off that static vibe. Now by the way, this um cherry fucking see the strawberry gusher herb. If you know you know that I'm all about the herb. This if you get this strawberry gusher sativa all I can say is just use it carefully. Be careful. This is one of the strongest ones I've ever had from Herb, and I've had quite a few from Herb. Um, but it'll help you. I noticed this helped me, like, help my mood a little bit. It helped me be ha a little bit more happier and cheerful and laugh. Like, last night I was, like, in a shitty mood, and I hit this a couple times, and, you know, it did elevate my mood a bit, you know. So that sativa is not a bad thing in the right situations. So back to what I'm saying about this static, because, I see, I didn't get to forget about it because it's important. Sometimes people put off static. And I'll tell you exactly how to spot that. Not even by pictures. We already know, like, you know, some... And I am and I do it too. Like, sometimes you just... You're self-conscious. I'm the most self-conscious person in the world. And the hardest thing for me has been to put myself out there. Pictures and stuff. Like, especially since, you know... Whatever. Man, I, hey man, the past is the past. I'm, I'm about growth, man. I'm about the future. I'm not really going to talk too much about the past here because it's not about that. It's about the present. Some people put off that static vibe and, and their wording will let you know. They'll say things to the effect of, I have my life together. I have all my teeth. Um, I have a car. Like, you know, third grade kind of shit. Where you're like... <clears throat> Oh, I have a job. I mean, I kind of understand the need to validate the people. Okay, don't get me wrong. I'm trying not to do that so much. But, um, first of all, it's called fucking Tinder. Okay? If you want to get all, like, golden age of fucking dating, you're on the wrong app, son. You need to go over to that, uh, whatever that shit is. Christian Mingle or Farmers.com or all whatever that shit is, okay? Tinder, hey, I'm OG, man. Tinder is, is what it is. If you know, you know. If not, get the fuck off Tinder. But people that just, you can read their profile and they just put out all this shit and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't have a car. I can't drive. Um, and, it, and it makes you start to think, well, what the fuck? But these people, the more you pay attention to they're, they're overcompensating for something else. They're trying to distract you from from their pain and their whatever they're being negative about in their minds or, or whatever they're hurting about. Not, not so much negative, but whatever, you know, it could be like they need to lose weight or, you know, 
They got hit in the fucking face with a frying pan. I don't fucking know. You know, fucking, like, you saw that movie Mask. I mean, you can't help shit sometimes. Sometimes you're born with it, man. I mean, fuck, I understand. But that doesn't mean you need to go out there and project fucking static at everybody else. Sometimes people are here to help you, man. But that's my thing. You can tell, you can tell, you can definitely tell the unhappy people. And you can tell the happy people. And then you can also tell the people that are in some kind of pain. I'm the kind of person, man, I feel everybody's emotions, man, that I'm around. And, um, yeah, I don't try to get clinical with that shit and all this and that. It's a gift, man. That's what I call it. I'm not trying to label it. It's a gift. Um, but sometimes people put up this facade because for whatever reason, they've been hurt. They've had trauma in their life. You know, they like to eat a bucket of ice cream at night. I love fucking ice cream. Have you ever eaten ice cream and been sad, my friend? Nope, not me. That that's my that's my favorite antidepressant. And if I use that for anti for depression, I'd be fucking four hundred pounds, bro. Cause I I would be eating a lot of that shit. Thank God for herb, strawberry gusher, two point two grams. I'm sorry, all right. So. I don't know, man. Sometimes that stuff that you look at and you're like, man, fuck that fat bitch or fuck that asshole or fuck. And I, when I say fat bitch, I mean, guys, I don't call women bitches. I'm just saying guys, like in general, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to delete it because it's too early and I got stuff to do, man. But you know what I mean? You're like, what, what are they doing? Why, why are they being like so critical and. I guarantee they're using filters in their pictures and there's all this, man, you gotta stop picking people apart like that, but you gotta sometimes try to understand people hurt and that's their defense mechanism. And those are the people that don't need to be in those kind of situations putting themselves out there until you're healed properly. And that way you can you can radiate that good energy, man, not that static, because that static just, I mean, some people are into that shit, but I'm not. So let's just, um, let's try to have a good day, man. Let's find a reason to smile, even if it's to yourself. You don't, and this is what I'm getting back to, like, oh, this motherfucker never smiles. Hey, man, if, you, if you're if you alone in your room and you smile or you look in your mirror and you smile, that's all that matters. Nobody else has to fucking see it if you don't want them to see it. Just smile on the inside, man. Be happy, you know, find something that makes you laugh and just, like, Go with it, man. Whatever your favorite show is that makes you laugh, man. Just watch it, man. You know, try to be happy. Smile on the inside. You don't have to smile for the world. Oh, you don't ever fucking smile. Hey, you don't know me, man. I smile a lot. You're just not around when it happens. You got to earn that smile. And you, my friends, have earned it if you're sitting here listening to me and what I have to say. And I love you, man, for it. And I could probably go on another two hours, but I'm gonna try to like just narrow it down to this basic subject. Let's try to be happy today, man. Today was not a good day for me, man. I was depressed, I was down. But throughout the day, I hung in there and slowly got better. Strawberry gusher herb came. I, I got a little more chilled. I think I needed a little bit more rest. I went to bed early. Man, I feel a little bit better today. Tomorrow, I might not, but today I'm okay. And I want you to be okay, okay? I want you to be okay. Let's work on this together. You're here, if, you, if you're here again, if you were here yesterday or the day before and you're back today, hey man, I love you, man, welcome back. Hey, let's hug it out, bro, right? If you're new here, hey, welcome, man, have a seat. Let's hit some herb, bro. drink a cup of coffee or just hang out and talk man so another thing is man normalize saying I love you to people that you actually honestly love um and you guys man it's not fucking gay to tell guys that you fucking love them man and see I notice a lot of my friends that I I don't really talk to anymore but it used to be I noticed that a lot a lot more people are saying that because man a lot of people are like dying these days man a lot of shit is going on in the world man you just don't know when you're going to see that person again man your brother your friend 
You don't have to be relatives. I mean, anybody important in your life, man. Always tell them the last thing you do before you part ways, don't even say goodbye, it's till we meet again, is man, just say, hey man, I love you, man. I love you, man. That's why I say that so much. Because I like to hear it, man. It inspires me, man. It's that simple. I don't need gifts. I don't need all this crazy stuff, man. I just need, I just need consideration, man. And for those of you out there, hey man, let's rise up, man. Let's normalize things. Let's try to be happy today. Say I love you, man. I probably said man about 17,000 times. Not quite 50,000 times this time, but... Man, just... Just try. Just try. That's all you can do is try. Just like, hey, man, if... You, I tell people, like... If you, if you need something, man, ask. If you, if you want something, ask. I'm going to give you two answers. One is going to be yes and one is going to be no. And if I say no, it's either because I can't afford it or there's a good fucking reason why I'm saying no. And it's for your benefit. That's just me. But hey, man, I love you guys. Be good. Be safe. Be healthy. Stay hydrated. Keep your mind as clear as possible. Hey, man, there's nothing wrong with a little herb in your life or whatever just stay away from that the, the hard stuff man that stuff that'll kill you man it's not worth it and I'll see you tomorrow man and, and we got a lot more to talk about because I only covered half the shit that I wrote down today it's so, man ah be good man hey man hey man here comes the sun man it's coming in about another 30 minutes 20 minutes I'm gonna be out there I'm gonna be fucking ready I'm gonna say good morning sun man because that makes me happy find something that makes you happy and I'll see you soon. I love you, man. Tell somebody you love them today that you actually love. Not some just making shit up. See you. If you like what you see, subscribe, share, spread the word. I'm on Facebook. I love you, man. All right. Peace.